Hey y'all and welcome back to another video by Umbra's Darkness. In today's video, you guys, we're just going to do a quick account update and then we're going to be doing the giveaway for 3,100 subscribers. Uh, before we get into the account update, real quick, you guys, I know I haven't made a post or a video in like five days. If you're in my Discord, I told you guys yesterday, it's because I got a dog. Uh, I thought I'd share that love and happiness with you guys. So this is Lydia, the dog that we've had for a very long while now, about six months. And this is uh, Jax, the newest dog. Welcome to our family yesterday. Um, they're both from the Animal Humane Society. We were busy prepping for Jax, getting ready for Jax, and then finally getting Jax. Uh, there was actually a delay in it. Jax has some sort of worm, I don't remember, uh, in his stomach. So they left him for another day to medicate him and get him good to go to come home. So this is Jax. I don't think he's ever seen a bone in his life before. I feel pretty bad for him. Um, he eats all of the bones. Lydia gets a b fresh bone five times a week. Every day that she's kenneled while I go to work and um, my wife goes to work, we give Lydia a fresh bone. And Jax will get the same. Uh, so she's pretty spoiled, but Jax doesn't know what that is yet, so... Very excited to start giving Jax bones and spoil him and make him a nice little love puppy. I think that they're going to go really well together. They've loved and bonded together really well. They haven't bothered our cats at all, and uh, our kid kiddo loves both of them. So it's been great. It's been awesome. Uh, but Jax is the newest addition to the family, and I'm very thankful and very positive that we got, got him. Uh, and I wish him a speedy recovery to the worms. So, anyways, you guys, uh, with that, the 3,200 subscriber giveaway is actually going to be Jax, uh, J-A-X. Uh, thank you guys for the love and support. Going up 100 subscribers while making no content is insane. Thank you, guys. Um, welcome, Jax, to the family. And, uh, yeah, with that, any farther ado, let's get into the update. All right, you guys, so first things first, uh, I want to update you on the Naya Cupcake account. So... Uh, we've had it back for about three months now, right? Uh, I'm not spending on it like I spend on my main account. Uh, obviously, it's just salty. It's not great. Um, Banshee Panda still isn't duped. Like, you know, just things like that. Um, but we have two full marches. Um, Giant Tooth, Samarsh Jack Jumper, they're all level 50, all maxed, etc., etc. Nine Star Mantis. Um, this team is all shooters typically, and then this team is usually guardian shooter shooter. Uh, the guardians are actually tier seven right now. The guardian barrack will go up today during build day, um, and go up to tier eight. I think tier eight guardians with tier nine shooters is perfectly fine. Um, and mimicry master has one more skill to unlock. So mimicry master is going to unlock this skill, this special ant day, and max out all the other skills so i'm not really worried about it the count's in a good place two two teams down atlas beetle will go to nine star eventually um kind of taking it slow not spending too much on the account um you know hard hard when you have bad feelings but uh happy with it where the account has gotten and very enjoyable it does good in ae when focused and starting on time with the gathering method um but MVP is not that important anymore. So most days, uh, just doing 20,000 points and getting out, if I'm honest. Evolutions. Uh, secondary combat went pretty far into uh, secondary combat just to try and show my viewers in Discord what it was like. Uh, not worth it. Trash evolution. Big regret. Should have gone into T10 carry or t10 shooters would probably be where my main is or roughly there maybe a little bit behind um because my main buys the creature main pack every week but uh yeah it's a uh, it's going okay spending all creature remains here now uh and guardians evolution is passively getting worked on and will be maxed over you know the next couple of weeks uh, whenever I don't get ninth chest on a couple of days, sometimes I struggle to get ninth chest on Evo, and I'll just do that. Uh, Hardened Fiber, and then starting Swift Combat 2 uh, next or this Evo day. Uh, 
yeah, I think that's about it, you guys. The account's in a pretty healthy place, pretty happy with it. Uh, still pure Raider account. Uh, it was Herder for like two days when the game first started, when the account first started. Didn't know what we were doing. Um, but now it's a Raider. It's got two-star blue uh, skin, obviously, as you guys just saw. Um, and so it has that gathering buff and does great gathering send out to gather remove the state remove the locust so it can gather longer etc etc um yeah you guys it, it works great uh and before the comments go crazy remove locust so it can gather longer does not affect it because it doesn't go into cultivator remove locust so it can gather longer so i can find tier eights in a very competitive server server 193 is pretty competitive and all the level eight ant hills would or food gatherings would be gone if I didn't use the trick to extend the time a little bit. Restation locusts a little bit later in order to cut the time back down to almost perfect. That's how I do it. In order to get my uh, food or leaf level eight pills. Uh, yeah, so that's the account, uh, the Naya Cupcake account, and on to my main. All right, so my main account obviously a little bit more developed. Uh, insect wise, I am going for an 11 star Alifa Speedle. Don't think that's smart. I think that's actually pretty stupid. I would not recommend it. I think that I'm an idiot for doing it, but, uh, you know, some people aren't as smart as what they teach and that's me. Um, just like my six star Atlas Beetle and my six star Scorpion, I should have gambled into it technically, mathematically better. I don't gamble orange insects or when I do, it very rarely happens. Uh, technically should have done it, then do it. Not going to. I'll have a nine star Atlas Beetle in a month when the insect plan allows. Uh, my Locust is obviously not stationed because this class does swap back to Cultivator. So the longer I gather, the better. It's been gathering since like two hours into or before Kill Event ended. I really appreciate the last server for not uh, destroying it. <laughs> Uh, and then the locust obviously is 11 star, which is huge for, uh, the gathering thing. Other than that, you guys, I have three full marches, uh, all tier eight or tier nine carrier marches. I don't do mixed marches at all. I think that'll honestly hurt me in the coming event, the three V three event. I'll be doing a review of that event. If you guys are curious on my opinion, probably tomorrow night, honestly, uh, just to like try and get my opinion out there, but I want time to settle it and honestly the update happens and I go to work So there's no way for me to do a, a Review right away because I know some people have asked me like why don't I do the review right after it comes out? I'm sleeping then I go to work. I work a nine-to-five you guys um, I have a family to support so uh, Giant 2 slim arch jack jumper. This is the exact teams that I'll be running initially uh, my Shikari Master is not duped. I don't want to talk about it. My Shikari Master is not duped. So Shikari Master isn't going in there. Maybe one day, you know, Lord willing, the developer's mercy, I'll get a Shikari Master dupe. Um, but until then, Giant 2, Slim Arched, Jack Jumper, Dark Giant, Golden Armor, Golden Venom, and then New World General, Bullet, Golden Sugar. Why an Atlas Beetle if I'm only going... Uh, pure carriers because eventually I'll reach t10 carriers and eventually I'll build shooters and eventually I'll build guardians and eventually and I'm getting down to my third orange insect um, I truly believe that getting four nine star orange insects is better than getting one 11 star orange insect etc etc um, so my third orange insect is going to be an atlas and my fourth orange insect is going to be a potato uh, by that, I mean a potatamine, the crab insect, or maybe the carrier exclusive insect like the Guardians just got. I'm sure that'll be out by then. Um, I'm not going full bore on this event because I got a dog. So, you know, Jax is way more important than getting a crab or getting a Shikari Master dupe. So that's, uh, that's where this account's at. Uh, on the formation part, I think the formations will be solid. I have a channel in my discord if you guys are curious what you want to do uh, Evolutions wise I did a little bit of secondary combat just to see what it was like again huge mistake I maxed out level superiority too. 
Huge mistake. Not great. I go against Guardian T8, Shooter T9, Shooter T9 all the time, and I do not do great all the time, especially in duels. Uh, duels being the main form of PvP now. Guardians just absorb so much damage. Um, yeah. I also uh, hope that they change duels back to how it was last time where uh, combat speed matters because that's like the number one thing that pushes carriers versus shooters. And if you're curious on my opinion, I think both carriers and shooters and even guardians are valid now. They each have their own pros and their own cons. You can't just be like, well, shooters are used everywhere and blah, 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 blah. I think that there are valid reasons for carriers. Um, and hopefully the game with the new map that they've exposed and, you know, all these different methods coming out, hopefully carriers shine in the light again. I think what happened is carriers got were too powerful they, you know, nerfed them, nerfed them, nerfed them, and now they're a little bit too weak. But I think eventually it'll balance back out again. I got to believe that. I'm going full bore into them. So. Uh, but there's plenty of people on my Discord that can talk to shooters, talk to guardians, if you want to go in other directions. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to show you guys for my, uh, mutation, or my genetics cells, nothing impressive. I don't really... I didn't spend when cells first came out and I didn't do the level of the experience trick uh, that got patched. Um, so they're not super high level. I'll get my first orange one uh, next cell day, but nothing impressive. Genes, I have uh, two starred each or one, one red star each of my gen genetics except for the last page. Um, same with germs, they're about the same place because I started spending again on the game relatively the same time uh so one of these will go to two star again next week or one star again next week and that's just because that's when i started spending on the game again fungus i still don't like it <laughs> i still don't like it uh, it's not my go-to um i guess the positive thing for fungus that i didn't know uh and i for i apologize for not realizing this and putting it out there but once you reach level 9 and it's in the informational section, it clearly states right here, if proliferate level 9 above failed, the success rate will increase the next time and 100% of the consumed proliferation materials. So not the resources, the materials itself that you uh, pay to win for will be returned, but the proliferation resources will not be returned. Cle clearly spelled out there. Uh, thank you for... Uh, to Fox for pointing this out. I don't know how I missed it. Um, but so there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Reach level nine and then uh, you're only wasting resources. That being said, VIP shop just added water probably because of this. Water is actually pretty hard once you get above level nine because that's going to be your limiting resource, especially for a while. Um, and then my recommendation based off of this knowledge is get every tree to level nine uh, which I think you have to get the third tree to level 12 anyways in order to unlock the fourth tree. Get the four, get all of them to level 9 and then work on pushing them all above. Uh, so that way you know that what you're spending is going into a guaranteed thing and you're just waiting on resources. I think that that will allow people to budget into this game more and allow whales to sink in their money initially into something new and then free that money up before another thing happens in this game. So my recommendation again would be to get level nine across the board and then continue to buy just Monday exclusive packs like most people buy just the daily exclusive pack of whatever genetic it is for that day. Account update, other than that, I don't really have anything else going on in the account. Um, I have 12 exotic shells that I'll eventually somewhere use somewhere. Probably two star the Golden Venom and one star the Slim Arch, but I might two star the Bullet Ant. Who knows with the 3v3 happening. Guys, again, thank you for staying tuned and let's draw the 3,100 subscriber giveaway. All right, you guys, you know how we do it when we do it over here. We're going to right click copy so everyone can see that I'm doing it this way. We're going to scroll down, right click paste. I'm going to filter duplicate users, only one chance to enter, include replied comments, don't care where you say the code word, filter comments based off specific text. We're going to go ahead and put this down here. Code word it was Reddit because that's the fourth uh, 
the most common place for people to come from my videos, which is crazy because I wasn't even on Reddit before I found that out. Uh, get YouTube comments. 38 unique comments. Awesome, you guys. Thank you very much for the love and support. Rahula Pokharia. Ooh. I probably butchered that name. Please contact me on Discord. I apologize and would love to learn how to say your name properly. Uh, please contact me on Discord. Remember, you must have been a subscriber before your name was drawn. If I get a push notification saying you weren't, I can't help you. Uh, you will default lose your uh, lose your privilege. So, anyways, you guys, thank you guys for the love and support. A huge shout out to my five Patreons. I really do appreciate it. The love and support that you guys uniquely give me is uh, tremendous. Please DM me. Feel free to contact me at any time if you have any questions. Especially Fox, uh, you teach me, I feel like, more than I teach you. I'm crunching all the numbers that you give me, trying to learn from each and everything. Thank you uh, so much. If you guys want to sign up for my Patreon, the link is in the description below. If that's not something you're interested in, a subscribe and a like on this video means the world to me and helps me out tremendously, and it costs nothing. Uh, you guys, I'm in the YouTube comments. I try to respond to as many as I get push notifications for. Or I'm on Discord. I'm the number one talker on there, and it's where I post things uh, the second I find them out. So when Groundhog doesn't have defense, or if it does have defense again, I post it in there the second we prove it. Uh, if I'm not posting because I get a dog, pictures in there right away. If I, if Stan, Stan, Stan posts another video that's really good or isn't, you know, if he just wants to share a video, Stan, Stan, Stan has that privilege uh, and is in my Discord all the time. Otherwise, worst case scenario, like I always say, server 193 is recruiting and you can catch me on there. Until next time, you guys, stay humble, stay happy, stay hungry. Bye, y'all.